Pisces, what is happening? Welcome to your energy update. Pisces, for this energy update, I want to see how the person that you are dealing with, how they're viewing you, and how do they feel about you. So let's see. Let's see. How does this person that Pisces is dealing with, how do they view Pisces? Let's see. Let's get that first. How does this person view Pisces? How does this person that Pisces is dealing with, how do they view Pisces? How are they viewing Pisces, Spirit? How is this person viewing Pisces? Okay, we got three already. Let's see. We have knowledge, free will, and resurrection. So Pisces, I feel here that overall people definitely see that there's a re resurrection happening for you, a comeback. Like, you know, you rise from the ashes, Pisces. And people have been seeing your come up, okay? And this person sees it too. They see that you're someone very disciplined, has a lot of knowledge. I feel here like they see you in high regard. We're going to clarify these. Um, see, how does this person feel about Pisces? How do they feel? What's in their heart space for my fellow Pisces? What is in the heart space of this person? How do they feel about Pisces? How do they feel about Pisces? What do they feel about Pisces? Okay. Pisces, we got religion. We have sacrifice. We have discipline. And then we have anti-hero. So I'm getting something very, very clear for this. Your person could have some religious uh, beliefs or some perspectives that are like are their morals or, or whatever it is. And I feel like this person somehow feels like they have to sacrifice or let go of this. Somehow this person feels like they can't let themselves have this. Okay? Um, and, you know, they have to stick to their religion or to their rules or, you know, what whatever they've set for themselves. And I feel like this person is trying to have discipline. Okay? I feel like this person is trying to stay disciplined and kind of not let, you know, themselves, because they're drawn to this, right? They see you as someone that is very, like, independent, very free-spirited, okay? You um, are, are versed in a lot of things or, or, you know, you have this knowledge about different things. And then anti-hero, I feel like despite this person trying to kind of hold back and stay disciplined, this person at times wants to break the rules and just wants to come towards you. Like you make them kind of want to act on impulse here. But I feel like, again, they're trying to have a lot of discipline. Let's clarify. Shall we? Let's see which, what, which deck. Let's, let's do this. All right. How does this person view Pisces? How does this person view Pisces? What is this resurrection? What is this resurrection card? What is this resurrection? What is this resurrection? What is this resurrection? I hate when cards kind of come out sideways. Two of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. Maybe you are, they see you as contemplating on whether you even want to kind of um, start things up or, you know, get back into this again with them. Okay, let's see here. How, how does this person view Pisces? How does this person view Pisces? How is this person viewing Pisces? The person that Pisces is dealing with. How is it, How are they viewing Pisces? How is this person viewing Pisces? How is this person viewing Pisces? How is this person viewing Pisces? It's like when I say I don't like something, that's when it happens. All right. Okay. So we have the Two of Cups and the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like this person, even though the connection, there could be like tense moments or, you know, you guys are not hanging out or communicating as much. You're still very generous and giving. I feel like this person, you know, there's a sense of maturity and knowledge, right? Like this person knows that you're intelligent, okay? It's like you have a social intelligence, but you're also very intelligent in a lot of different ways. And so, again, despite there being kind of a rift in the connection right now or whatever, you're still generous and giving, you know, you're still... You are still uh, there, Be acting very kosher, very civil. <laughs> All right, how does this person feel about Pisces? How does this person feel? How does this person feel about Pisces? All right. So the, the cards came out like this. So we had the two of wands that was in the reverse and the three of wands sideways. So this person I feel wants, again, this like, 
passive aggressiveness, not really, but this back and forth of this person wanting to be disciplined and not making decisions, you know, but they do want to move forward. They do want this to expand and move forward in some senses. So there's like this fight inside of this person, okay? And, you know, it's, it's new energy coming in and, you know, everyone's transitioning. I feel like this person is in between, you know, as we all are in some aspects, but and I feel here, Pisces, that you're just kind of doing your thing. Let's see, one more for how this person views Pisces. Let's get with a different deck here. Let's get some animal cards. How does this person view Pisces? 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 How does this person view? How is this person viewing Pisces? How is this person viewing Pisces? How is this person viewing Pisces? This person viewing Pisces? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, okay. Okay. We have the lion Pisces. We have the dragonfly and then we have the scorpion Pisces. So I feel Pisces that this person again, this this dragonfly is like this knowledge card, right? There's you you have a very swift, quick mind. It, this is like an air energy. Okay, knowledge. You're very agile with the mind, you know. It's it's like you can think very clearly. And then there's the the water aspect of you, right? It's like something that they know you still hold within, you know, and and maybe you might have some frustrating or conflicting feelings about that in some sense and you kind of hold that deep. However, you do have this very regal energy about you that, you know, you're not going to really stoop down to any certain level you're going to keep your composure yeah i like it <laughs> all right how does this person what's this person's energy towards pisces what is this person's energy let's see let's see first how does this person feel about pisces let's see if we can get some clear answers with these animal cards how does this person feel about pisces how does this person feel about pisces spirit how does this person feel feel how does this person feel about Pisces okay yeah three mm. fox <laughs> the mouse and the bat okay so I feel that this person is obviously you know they, they get very nervous and th they start to think and, and they get very anxious about this connection you know again this back and forth like you know should I sacrifice should I go for it um, and I feel like this person does, they are a wise person or someone that can, that has vision beyond, um, you know, the 3D reality as well, right? This person could be a spiritual person in some aspect, but I feel like this person is very faithful to you, right? The fox, you know, the wolf is, is a very faithful animal. They only have one mate, but I feel here like they're very charismatic. I feel here like... Um, you know, they're loyal to you in a sense. And, you know, all this, although they're nervous about, you know, whatever it is that's holding them back or, you know, whatever they're, they're kind of back and forth about. Again, you know, it's, that's all really, it comes down to they're just back and forth. They want it, but they don't. But I do feel like they, they you know, they, they still hold this thing for you. I feel like they're loyal. They're a loyal mate to you. Someone that, um, you know, this, the wolf makes, uh, I'm sorry, the fox makes a good partner. Um, so like a monogamous energy that is loyal yet charismatic. And this is a type of relationship that would be long term because, you know, you'd find ways to keep it interesting. This person here. So they feel that they could have something really fun and good with you but yet again their energy of their mind kind of coming in and like no I got to be disciplined and not do this or I can't my beliefs my religion whatever reason but they want to all right what is the mutual energy what is the mutual energy here mutual energy what is the mutual energy and then I'm going to see what's some advice for Pisces in this situation what is the mutual energy here? Pisces and this person, mutual energy. Mutual energy, Pisces and, and their person, mutual energy. We got one. The elk. You know what? So interesting. The elk is an energy of, it's a very stable. 
it's a very grounded stable energy yet it's 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 spiritual as well it is almost like earth and magic and um the ethers right it's that perfect combination as well as someone being resilient and being able to hang in there despite whatever challenges you know or, or whatever comes up so what i'm seeing here is two people that know there's challenges or whatever it is but are in this they're they're there's they're a sturdy part in this okay they are in this for the long haul like they're not giving up it's almost like they're continuing on this on this stable path towards each other despite whatever challenges come up so i'm seeing two loyal energies that are actually all about each other yet there's these things that is keeping them apart or you know mis misunderstandings um not necessarily egos but you know our own triggers that we have to work through but let's see what else one more i want to get one more for the mutual energy in this connection one more but it's interesting because despite whatever challenges you both are still in the game like like nope you know still keeping the course here all right, mutual energy. Mutual energy for Pisces and this person. Mm. Crow. We got the crow and the tiger. So I feel here like you both are getting just universal guidance. I feel here like, you know, um, insight is coming down. It's a time for, you know, connecting to our higher self and this feminine energy, intuition. Again, the perfect time for it you know, new guidance to come down. So I feel like both of you are soaking that in as well. Again, we see here kind of this person that looks like fire, right? That could be a challenge. My my antlers are on fire, but however, also the connection to the ethers, right? I wanna see, what is some advice for Pisces to wrap this up? What is some advice? What is some advice for Pisces in dealing with this person? Advice for Pisces in dealing with this person. Advice for Pisces in dealing with this person. Like a, a recurring th theme that keeps coming in my mind is like two loyal hearts. Despite whatever's happening in the surroundings and it doesn't like, whatever it may look like, you both are like kind of loyal to each other despite, well, despite your doubts or whatever's going on. What's advice for Pisces dealing with this connection? Advice for Pisces dealing with this connection. All right. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Ten of Wands. The Tower in the reverse. Temperance in the reverse. Two of Pentacles and King of Wands. Pisces. You know, I feel here like there's something that needs to happen between both of you and hasn't happened or whatever it may be. Maybe what both of you need to stop like avoiding, you know, and and, and, and not being afraid to, to switch up your situation and, and go towards, you know, what would be your fulfillment here. A lot of you have a lot of responsibility and are maybe holding a lot of burdens, um, you know, and resisting this connection, both of you. And, and maybe that's what, you know, it's keeping it off balance because there's so much resisting. So there's a lot of juggling, okay? I feel here like this King of Wands is doing a lot of juggling, okay? And it not, might not be juggling people, but it might just be juggling perspectives. And there, there's a clear, uh, stark difference here in, in the two perspectives. So I'm seeing here that Pisces... I don't feel like the advice is for you to stay in this limbo. I feel like it's it's drawing your attention to a resistance here. And in a sense, Pisces, it's interesting because I don't want to say there, there isn't anything showing me that you're like resisting and like you shouldn't go towards this, right? But you're definitely like holding on to something. Um, and, you know, it's it, there is resistance here with the tower in the verse. Let's get let's get some more. Let's get some more. <laughs> what is what is advice for Pisces? What is advice for Pisces? What is the advice for Pisces? 
advice for Pisces in this connection. Advice for Pisces in this connection. The Magician in the reverse, the Four of Wands in the reverse, the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands in the reverse, Pisces. I'm seeing, the only thing I'm seeing here, right, is advice because these are a lot of like cards of, like there's a lot of reversals here, but I'm seeing here it's to really pull yourself, to really focus on you, to really, you know, use this free will of yours to focus on your abundance and continue to put that energy in into you and continue to keep your standards and your boundaries, Pisces, because, you know, there's a lot of resistance here that's that's happening, and I don't feel like it's, like, fully on your end, right? I feel like it's more on their end, but I don't feel like that resistance should cause you delays and you, you know, being stuck on that and waiting on that, right? I, I feel here that the advice is not to wait, right? Not to let this energy get you off balance or, you know, just make you feel like you can't manifest or not getting what you deserve because someone here is juggling their own things. It's to continue to focus on you for the time being, okay? Continue to focus on you. And in a way, I do feel like both of you are in resistance to coming together, but, you know, the remedy to that is continue to give yourself more self-love so you can feel worthy of this connection and it can actually come to play. All right, I want to get one more card here of advice for this connection because that wasn't clear advice for me. What is advice? Sometimes spirit doesn't want you to know, right? Sometimes... What is advice for Pisces in dealing with this connection? Advice for Pisces in dealing with this connection. Advice for Pisces in dealing with this connection. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. You know, there's a lot of cards that fell out here. And I'm... <laughs> I'm just going to tell you what I think, Pisces. We got back on task, okay? Again, this energy of, of focusing on yourself um, to make sure that you give to this but not over give. Don't let, don't let this cause, you know, you to hold on to these deep things. All right, this, this reading is getting away from me here, okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. No, but don't let this cause you to hold on to deep resentment, right? To continue to work from that. Back on task, Pisces. Look at the underbelly of the situation. Um, you know, it's some things you can't rush. And I do feel that you are sorting through some things out yourself, as this person is. But I do feel that there is... This is a mutually beneficial venture, okay? I do feel like this this could be beneficial between you guys. But I do feel that it's going to need your guys to both surrender, okay? To both surrender to what's happening. I feel like you need to let in the childlike devotion again, okay? Both of you connect to your, to your childlike. And it's staying persistent in the situation. And that's what I'm seeing here with this energy, right? An energy of persistence. Someone that... Despite whatever's happening, like, you both are persistent towards each other. All right. You know what? Spirit doesn't want to tell us anymore for now. So, all right. We're done. We're done. Okay. I'm just going to get one more. All right. We have Dove. Feel and allow a deeper sense of peace to fill you now. This is a divine quality divine quality also Pisces it's interesting here because at this time some things could be coming up for you resurrection is like the Scorpio energy scorpion energy as well so allow this peace to fill in for you okay at this time I feel that both of you you know your triggers are coming up maybe when the stuff starts to come up for you okay your defense mechanism is when you actually feel this hurt or something kind of brewing in you, then you kind of get aloof, okay, or kind of standoffish. So that's just a side message. You will soon enter into beneficial partnership. Luck and longevity bless this union. Again, I feel like this union is slowly coming together, but um, not at your pace, right? It has to be God's universe's pace here, okay? This this is 
long haul, but it's done right for, for the, the Pisces that I'm here picking up on. And inherent wisdom is emerging at this time. Watch it and ready yourself for a rebirth. And how we saw in your reading, your personal reading, Pisces, you know, that's kind of what's happening. And rebirth and alchemy that you performed, right? And now uh, in, the sp in the springtime, we're going to birth our new version of ourselves that was we've been working on, okay? So right now, maybe, again, how we picked up on the Two of Cups in the reverse. This connection could be a little tense or, or a little riff right now, even though you guys are still generous or giving towards each other. But don't worry, things will improve and this connection i do see i'm not sure in what time frame but it is coming together okay there is going to be a beneficial partnership and it is blessed okay loyal hearts talk to you later <laughs> bye